Hello and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, I'm Sparring DK and you're probably wondering what the hell is Flip FIFA, you've seen the thumbnail, uh, you've seen the series leading up to this, you're wondering what the hell is going on, well let's get right into it straight off the bat and explain what is going on uh, in this series. You might not get any game action in this episode but we're going to go through in depth and let you know what is happening in this series. So straight off the bat you can see here the Barclays Premier League's had a little bit of a shake up and what we've done is we flip this world upside down. So the Barclays Premier League has all of the teams that were in League 2. Now you can see there's only 20 teams, so I've had to make an executive decision to move some of those teams around out of League 2. Uh, but this is basically all of the League 2 sides sitting in the Barclays Premier League. If we move through to the Championship, you'll see all of the League 1 sides, plus a couple of League 2 sides, uh, Notts County, Portsmouth, um, Oh, I'm trying to think here, Bristol Rovers and Leighton Orient. Uh, then we move through to League One and you've got all of the championship sides sitting in here, except for there's a couple of uh, League One sides that have made this step up because they had the most money. That's basically how I went about it. They had a good rating money. I decided that they were the clubs to go up. And then we move into League Two, where you see all of the former Premier League sides sitting here in League Two, but we also have Burnley, Hull City, and QPR, and then the team that we will be taking a hold of from your votes, and that is Peterborough. Now, they are a League One side, they don't have a lot of money, um, and they're very low. So in the first season, we're gonna be taking on all of these Premier League sides in League Two. Now, just to make things a little bit more interesting, if we go over to France, I've flipped all of League One and League Two. So uh, PSG and the likes are all sitting in League Two, and uh, all the League Two sides are sitting in League One. If you look at Germany, I've done the same with the Bundesliga. So down in Bundesliga 2, you've got Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund and the likes. So we've completely flipped FIFA on its head. We've done the same with the Serie A and uh, the Serie B. Obviously, Juventus and the likes are down in the second division. And we've also gone, and the last but not least, is of course, if we can fucking get there in time, it is... Oh, God, how many leagues are there? There's Spain. Here we go. Okay, so Spain's been flipped over. Now, a couple of teams, you know, uh, there's a bit of a difference between the two leagues and the amount of teams in there. So I've just made the decision on, on how much money they had to, unfortunately, probably give them a bit of a disadvantage. But we flipped FIFA on its head. And the real story here is going to be who stays up in the Premier League from those League 2 sides. Some of those guys are going to be playing Champions League. And as we move through this series, you know, four or five seasons down the track, it'll be interesting to see if any of those clubs can utilize some of that money and start building them into full Dynasty series uh, of clubs. And also seeing which Premier League teams starting in League 2, you know, get that leg up, make their way back into the Premier League first. But we're playing with Peterborough United. Um in League 2 against all those Premier League sides and it's going to be our task, you know, to try and do our best against those Premier League sides and see if we can get promoted as well. It's not going to be easy. We're starting from Season 1. No simulating in this one like we normally do on uh, most of my series and uh, we will be concentrating on youth but we will be using youth, uh, real players in this one. So let me know in the comments down below any players that Perhaps we could go and try and sign, but we really don't have a lot of money. Let's go and have a look at Peterborough United. Right, so here's the squad that we're dealing with. We're using the standard DK formation, the 4-2-3-1. Uh, uh, we've got Naby up front. Uh, cool Thirst on the left. He's a striker. He can play left mid. Uh, Ostuma at cam. Taylor at right mid. Bostwick. Oh, that's a magnificent beard. He is in the midfield. And Forrester. Across the back, we've got... Uh, oh, how do you say that? I uh, don't know, I'll probably murder a few names in this series. Baldwin, uh, Zakuani, Smith, and Tyler. Uh, we've got some all right, you know, rough 60s here on the bench in Madison, Gillett, Angol, Anderson, uh, Tofolo, Santos, and Alnwick. And we've got some decent reserves. So I may have to try and, you know, I hate no-face players, so unfortunately they're probably going to be the first lads out of the club. We will be getting a scout future star, and we will be trying to find some youth academy players to bring in and uh, bolster our side.
All right, let's have a look at some of our objectives and the likes. Uh, I've entered us in a preseason tournament, and uh, normally you don't play those, but you know, a little bit extra money will help us out. Our domestic cup objective would be uh, to reach the round of 32. Well, we'll see what happens there. Transfer market we don't care about. They want us to look for a striker, even though we've got about 64,000 of them in the team. And Ebenezer Mezu, if you don't know who he is, he's from our Notts County series. He is the manager of this team. Uh, we did use the scout that you get from the catalog, and we've also used the 60% increase because we're basically broke. Um, the league objective is to avoid the bottom of the league. So, you know, it's going to be a long, hard slog uh, this season, especially basically throwing us in the deep end against all Premier League sides. Budget-wise, we've got 2.2 million. Now, I could probably use that to pick up one or two players, but I really want to focus on the Youth Academy here in the first season. Uh, just to, you know, with the rating of our players, we could probably get some Youth Academy Project players into the side that would, would fill us out quite quickly. Uh, so that is going to be the key for this one as we are basically going to sit back, defend, and try and counter-attack against some of these Premier League teams. Taking a look at the calendar, I'm still not 100% sure how I'd like to bring this uh, series to you. We need to get through it a little bit quicker. Uh, we don't want to play every single game, but I can't go ahead and simulate because we will just lose because our team is very, very poor against the teams that we're going to be coming up against. We will simulate these friendlies because no one gives a shit about them. Thanks very much, EA. Uh, so this episode will probably be the transfer window and uh, then we'll get into August. Now, what I want to do, I'm thinking, is uh, I will play every single game, but I'm not going to give you every single game. I may do like a highlights package, just show you the goals, maybe some uh, stats at the end of each game, uh, depending how I want to bring it forward to you. I'll work that out as I go through this episode. But then I'll uh, one or two full games will be included in every episode. Uh, maybe some highlight marquee games, cup games and the likes, and uh, big games like, you know, the likes of Chelsea, um, you know, games, Newcastle, Liverpool, you know, the big teams that you really want to see me struggle and rage against. I think they'll be the main the main uh, ones we look at, at least here in the first season. But let me know in the comments, do you want me to play every game? Do you want to see every game? Or uh, as we move through the series, you'll get a feel of how I'm going to present this to you. And you may like the highlights package and that sort of thing. But you know what? It's the 1st of July, 2015. Let's just get into this series. All right, we're going to hire some youth scouts. I'm just going to go for three-star, three-star scouts to start with. We're going to go for uh, Kennedy Dawson uh, from Sweden. And how much cash have we got? 1.9. All right, we'll grab Marcus Peterson from Denmark. And we'll also, if we got another three-star... All right, let's just grab Roberto Damian, uh, three-star, two-star from Spain. Now, if you've got suggestions on countries that you'd like me to scout, please do leave them in the comments down below. I'll add them to a list and uh, we'll randomly pull them out of a hat. And we'll uh, head off to those countries if the money allows it. Uh, I did go to Twitter and got a couple of responses. So I'll head to those countries first. And the first one is Australia for a technically gifted player. Uh, off he goes. And then we're going to go off to... Uh, where are we? We want some homegrown talent. We're going to look for an English goalkeeper. And we're going to head off to Finland for a... Playmaker. Right, so our Scout Future Star Scout has been dispatched. Uh, hopefully he comes back with something pretty tasty. Right, we got knocked out in the uh, <laughs> in the preseason tournament pretty quickly, but 324 grand may help us out. Uh, probably not though. Alright, our Scout Future Star has returned and he has brought us Christian Pestrin. Uh, an Italian looks like a left winger, 57 overall, 78 to 94 attacker. Uh, he's only five foot five. But it uh, looks like he could be someone good for the future. So Christian Pestrin uh, is our scout future star for this series. We've got a monthly scouting update from Finland. We've got a 73 to reject, an 80 reject, and a 68 to 92 in VT Emil. Uh, we will continue to scout. In England, we come back with Andre Watmore, 71 to 94 goalkeeper. Uh, we're going to sign him up. Uh, a 77 reject, an 88 will continue to scout. Hemmings can go, and uh, Tariq Khan can go. And we're down in Australia. Jack Fitzgerald can go, and that is pathetic. Okay, so we're into August, and uh, with all the, you know, setup and all that sort of thing, I don't want this episode to blow out. So we'll just play the one game live, and that will be the Chelsea game. But I am going to play all of the other games, so uh, you will get a highlights package, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. So we open the season with a game against Crystal Palace. 
And they took the lead early with a 1-0 inside the 17th minute. A lovely header inside, followed up by another one that came inside. Some poor defending and a secondary header to give them a 2-0 lead in the second half. They came once again to Crystal Palace and more poor defending from Peterborough. Let them inside once again and they finished for a 3-0 lead inside 64 minutes. It wasn't looking good for Peterborough. We struck back through Cool Thirst. Uh, our first goal in the first game of the season. So it was 3-1 before Shamak slipped through and smashed home 4-1. Pretty disappointing game. Uh, a long way to go for Peterborough. Next game was a Capital One Cup game against Shrewsbury. We opened the account inside four minutes. I think it was Madison uh, with a nice header. Then Nichols came through with a cheeky chip shot to give us a 2-0 lead inside 13 minutes. So it was looking pretty good. Uh, the next one was a little bit lucky. Gillett fired from deep. A good save from the keeper. Uh, Nichols with the header hits the crossbar. And Beauty Man puts it in for a 3-0 lead. We took the game 3-0. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your feature game of the episode. We're going to Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea. And, uh, well, it's <laughs> the Minnows versus the big boys. But the rain is coming down. It may play in our favor. God only knows what to expect here at Stamford Bridge. You know Chelsea are a much superior side to what we're putting out on the park. And uh, your first taste of really seeing what this team is made of. Uh, Diego Costa is getting a bit of a mention here. But I will let you see our current lineup that we're going out with here. And we'll also see what Chelsea puts out. I haven't seen any big transfers so far. Uh, you'd think that, you know, League Two sides may be putting out other teams, but they've got Amelia between the sticks, so resting Courtois. Oscar's there, Pedro, uh, Ivanich, Willian. So, uh, yeah, you know, a 50 50 side. We may be in with a chance here against Chelsea. Looks like they've had a look at our team sheet and decided to send out the young lads. Here is the Peter O'Reilly side. We've got Ulrich between the sticks. Smith, uh, Zakanani, Baldwin, Nithe, Forrester, Boswick, Taylor, Ostuma, Madison, and Coolthirst up front. So let's see if we can even hold on here against Chelsea. Oh, Ulrich, what was that, mate? Oh, that is some piss-poor goalkeeping from Ulrich. Let's man it straight through. And he basically could have just walked out of the way and let the keeper through. I don't know if he slipped on a puddle or something, but look at this. Comes inside, Diego Costa off to manage. And wow, what the hell was that? That was poor goalkeeping. He jumped out of the way. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, Ulrich, we're going to have to find ourselves a goalkeeper. Quick, smart here for Peterborough. Because if that is our best goalkeeper, it's going to be a long, hard season here facing these Premier League sides. And Manage gets his first goal. Oh, they've got to Diego Costa and Oscar turning us inside out. Oh, wow. Well, have we bitten off more than we can chew here, ladies and gentlemen? Chelsea putting on an absolute clinic and we can't even live to fight another day because we cannot defend to save our lives at the moment. He laid tackles left, right and centre, but it didn't matter. The fucking superior foot skills here of Chelsea just slipped through us like a hot knife in butter. And Elwick completely out of his depth. It's 2-0 to Chelsea. Oh, come on, lads. Wow, 3-0 Chelsea. And we're getting our ass handed to us on a silver platter here at Stamford Bridge. Oh, mate. These lads are going to have to learn how to clear a ball pretty fucking quickly because that was terrible. And 3-0 uh, down in the first half. This is turning into some sort of horror story early here for Peterborough. Oh, filthy. Oh, you got to clear, lads. you got to clear. Fuck me. 4-0. Go and eat a dick. We are fucking under the pump here, that is for sure. Cleared out, passed straight back, and Chelsea, well, unreal. Looks like we are the bunnies of the competition. It was to be expected, but not like this. 4-0 inside the first half. Peter Burrow may as well get back on the bus now. Oh, come on, not another one. Fuck me! 
clear the thing, boys. 5-0 inside the first half. And look at this, the piss poor defending. It's just going straight back to him on the charge. And 5-0 to Chelsea. Welcome to Flip FIFA, ladies and gentlemen. The hardest challenge ever invented. And I have definitely bitten off more than I can chew if this is a sign of things to come. Heaven help us. Half time, it is five goals to nil. Oh my god, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's just funny now, isn't it? Six nil to Chelsea. What will they end up scoring? Diego Costa gets himself a goal. Oh, these lads. Look at this. Just trying to clear it out. Picked off, mate. Picking pockets and clinical finishes. And I'm not even sure we've even had a shot on goal. Oh, there's a ball. Come on, Cool Thirst. Come on, Cool Thirst. Cuts back. Can he get something on? He feeds it off. Oh, no. Oh, was that our first shot on goal? Cool Thirst. Slips one through. Oh, what a save from Amelia. And there it is, full time. Well, we come away with our tail between our legs. A 6-0 smashing from Chelsea. And a long season ahead for Peterborough. Ten shots to two. We just got comprehensively smashed. All right, we've lost Jermaine Anderson with a broken elbow. He's gone for two months. Our first big injury for the season. So we had a game against Stoke City, hosting them at home at the Abax Stadium. And not a lot of action in this one. We did get the lead uh, through Boswick. It was a lovely corner delivery. And Boswick put it home nicely. But then not much long later, there was uh, poor goalkeeping from Alnwick. And he was looking a little bit suspect. The game finished one all. All right, we've got the round two of the Capital One Cup at the Amex Stadium, and we're hosting Everton, so I thought it was another good game to be trying to bring to you guys. Hot and cold form here for Peterborough so far this season, but uh, we started our cup campaign off pretty well against a smaller side. Let's see what we can do here against Everton. Really struggling uh, defensively. That is our main aspect. Olmwick is not the best of goalkeepers. We don't really have anything behind him. So I think that is the first thing that we really need to be strengthening is definitely our defensive line. We're getting enough opportunity getting forward, but uh, defensively, we're very, very suspect. Here's the Everton lineup. They've got Lukaku up front, so his pace will probably cause us a shitload of issues. Barkley, Lennon, they're sending out a pretty decent side here. The Peterborough side, on the other hand, well, we're just pretty much having to play with the same players over and over again. Let's see what we can do here against Everton. Oh, Lukaku inside five minutes. And Elnwick is probably the worst goalkeeper I've seen in this game so far. We really need to do something about that. I may have to go and look at the free agents and spend the last amount of cash that we have remaining to find us a goalkeeper that we can actually work with because that was filthy. I know our defense is very poor and Lukaku is a superior striker. But Olnwick has been suspect in every game we've played so far. It's 1-0 to Everton. Ostuma gets through, shoots and scores. Peterborough back into the game through Ostuma. He took the game on, grabbed it by the scruff of the neck, gave it a good shake. And look at this, he's just slipped through about three or four gentlemen at once. Gets inside the box and bangs it home. Top left bins. We're back in the game. Peterborough through Ostuma. Get in, lad. Oh, that's what we needed. A little bit of excitement as we equalize here in the first half. Get in, lad. Half time and it's one all. The equalizer through Ostuma. Oh, my God. What a strike from Barkley. And it's 2-1 to Everton. Well, you can't really blame Olmwick for that one. There was no stopping that. That was an absolute crushing blow from outside the box. And Barclays put it in to give Everton the lead back. It's 2-1. And that was a magnificent strike. Look at this. We, we corralled Lukaku, but we couldn't hold off Barkley. Look at this. Bang. Thanks very much for coming. 2-1. Forrester, Ostuma, 
He's through again. Lost too much. Oh, what a challenge from Foons Mori. And we've got a corner. And there it is. We're out of the cup. A valiant effort from the lads, but a much superior team in Everton. We go down 2 1. Eight shots to four. 62% possession for Everton. And uh, we're really struggling for pace. But Ostuma was a bit of a shining light in that one. Well, we had a game against Hull City uh, back at the Abex Stadium, and this one was pretty much a dull game. The penalty was the difference, a 1-0 victory for Peterborough. Right, so that's where we're going to leave this one. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Uh, let's have a quick look at some of the tables. What I'm going to try and do is uh, up on the right-hand side. Is it the right-hand side? I'm not too sure. I'll work it out when I get to the edit. But I'm going to try and have the tables of some of the other leagues so you can sort of keep up to date with what's happening around the world. But here's what's happening in the Football League 2. Chelsea yet to lose a game. Same with Manchester United, Leicester, Liverpool. Uh, and we are in 18th, so uh, not too bad. QPR are down in last. Uh, one win, one draw, and two losses. I'm pretty happy with that. But that's all. Leave it today. Leave me some comments down below and thoughts on how you'd like to see this series run. Do you want to see more games? Are you happy with the highlights? Uh, I just want your input. Let me know how you'd like to see these kind of edits put together. But that's all we've got time for today. Thanks very much for tuning in to episode number one. And we'll see you next time. I'm Spiron DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. Toure cuts back inside. Toure gets in. Oh, that's a Toure. Fucking get in. The Abdul Hack attack.